Okay, 3919 Thrush. Um, this very familiar Speedway Eagledale area. Um, it's not actually in Speedway, it is in uh, Indy, but it's in that general vicinity. A very simple 3 1 ranch common layout that we see here. I'll go ahead uh, right off the bat, there's not a room for an additional bedroom or bathroom. Um, in its current configuration, you might be able to squeeze in a half bath somewhere, but it probably isn't, uh, or definitely isn't worth the ROI on that. Uh, cosmetics throughout, walls, flooring, etc., cetera, uh, need to be done. I know they probably look a little bit better than they are on um, the video here, but it's a really, a, like they look like a peel and stick vinyl. And of course we have different flooring in the kitchen here. Door that goes into the back. I can't get this door unlocked. So we'll walk around so you can get a better view of the backyard as well. But a pretty simple floor plan here. We've got laundry hookups in here. Um, our water heater is behind here as well. Haven't been able to get that door. So I'm thinking there's another, in many of these homes, there's another access on the outside. So we'll take a look over there. Here's our furnace. It's actually, you can tell it's been, um, had some maintenance done on it. Our, um, so that's in good condition there. No real shockers. Flooring, like I said, throughout, it's different in every room. We got wood paneling as well in most of the rooms. This one, this room has carpet. Uh, there's no light in here, but it's carpet that's on the ground here. And this room has another different type of vinyl flooring. Bathroom, pretty standard three-piece for this. It's actually decent sized. Resurfacing. Um, a lot of the tile, though, tile work actually looks pretty good around the bath enclosure on it. So that's something that could be salvaged. We'll go out the front here. So again, really nice <clears throat> neighborhood. We like the area a lot. This front patio here, um, the boards on this side are moving quite a bit um, so the support underneath it is definitely um, there's something wrong with it here uh, that's good there but then right there on that board it goes down so that's certainly something that'll need to be repaired without question nice driveway coming up to around here there is a gate to close off and then access of course to the um, two-car garage that's back here, which is a big bonus for this uh, neighborhood. We like that a lot. Having that extra garage, whether it's for storage or whatever. That, through that door right there, remember I said I couldn't get inside, that's gonna be your access currently to the water heater. That could be easily closed off and have access internally from where that laundry was. Gutter's gonna definitely need to be replaced. The siding though in general is in decent condition. The roof structurally looks fine. I don't see, it's not a big footprint. So, um, and some of the, um, some of the uh, vents that are there are newer. So I'm not seeing any real issues with that. So that's good. You see some of the same things here with the garage. There's no gutters, um, immediate gutters on the garage. It looks like it was an old system, gutter system. There's the downspout over there. A lot of overgrowth in the uh, vegetation around here, you can see. We've got ourselves a little, I don't know if I, certainly wouldn't call it a greenhouse because there's not any light or whatever going on in here to be able to grow stuff, though it does look they did, like they did have something <clears throat> something in here. So a couple of different outbuildings back here. Certainly that need a little bit of attention. To maximize rent on it, you certainly want to get rid of some of this. So add some of the demo to your cost. But generally speaking, the uh, structure of the house looks pretty good. No huge red flags uh, from that perspective. Like I said, furnace looks good. Couldn't get a real good read on the water heater, but um, from what I could see, it was certainly newer, um, some newer pipes into it. So um, I'm not real concerned about the condition of it. Thrush here is a really nice street. Um, it's a little wider, which means that there is some traffic that comes through here, but it's nothing that's gonna lower the value. 
nice large tree, good curb appeal, brick on the outside over here, siding on the side and the back. So anyway, just really good property here. I like it a lot. Let us know what you think. Thanks.